Hello, and welcome to this video on Confluence Space homepages. Here, we're going to learn what they are, why you should care about them, and some common challenges people run into when they use them. Let's jump in. The homepage is basically the landing page for a space. If I pick any space in my list and open it up, the first thing that opens will be the homepage. This is also the page I'll go back to if I click the name of it in the top left. You can think of this like the main landing page of the space. It's the first thing someone sees when they go open it up, and it's the place where a lot of people will go if they get lost or need some direction on what the space is about. And this is what makes this page so important. It's the first thing someone sees when they come see it. In this example, if this is a space about a project and they see information about it, they'll know they're in the right spot. But if you go to a space and the information there isn't useful or doesn't seem to be informative, it's gonna discourage folks and make it harder for them to find the information they need to be successful. Now, when a space is first created, it gets a default homepage. Here, we're seeing one for the HR space, and I can see effectively a template has been applied to it. It has an area for a description, a search bar, and some other things that the nice people at Confluence think will be useful. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see teams make with their homepage is they don't modify it. And this is incredibly important because, again, this is the landing page, the one place someone's going to go when they need help. So I always encourage teams to click this edit pencil and go and change their homepage. Adjust the information here. If it's about a team, add information about who they are or maybe what their roles are. Have links to commonly search for content. This search bar that comes by default is a great thing because it helps people find information. But invest time in adjusting this page so when someone comes to it, they know exactly what's here and they can get the information they need. Now, different space templates will have a different homepage. In this example, I have something more about the recent pages I've worked on. In the HR example, it was a bit more aligned with what would someone find in the space. So you don't have to keep the template you're provided. You can go in and completely change it or modify it to your needs. Now, another very important thing about the homepage is it is the top of your content tree. So all the information here on the left is under the homepage. Now, generally, there will just be a homepage and everything will live under it. However, it is possible to put content outside of the homepage. If I go into space settings, and look for reorder. I can see that this space has at least two pages, some with children, that fall outside the homepage. Now, typically, I don't advise this because the meeting notes in space section doesn't visually show up in my content tree. Someone can't browse to find it. They'd have to have a direct link or search for it in order to get it. Now, to fix this, all you have to do is click and drag the content under the homepage, refresh your screen, and it will show up in the content sidebar. So this particular challenge is very easy to correct. That said, you might have a legitimate reason for having this information in the space, but not in the content tree. I will encourage you to carefully think through if that's what you want though, because someone won't be able to browse and find this content. Another thing you should know about the homepage is you don't have to keep the one that Confluence gives you. If you'd like to change it, you can always go to your space settings, open up space details. Now to do this, you do have to be a space admin, but here I can change the homepage of my space to any page in that space. For example, I could make this my meeting notes page. Click save. And you'll notice that the content tree has changed. Now it's only the pages under the meeting notes. And if I go back to the homepage of this space, I will see what was the meeting notes page. Now again, this will hide all of that other content outside of the homepage. So typically I wanna be very careful when I do this because this content won't be easily browsable. It does still exist, however, so I can go into reorder or manage my space and move it around, and I can always come back to Space Details, Edit Space Details, and change my homepage to some other page. And as you can see, everything came back. So that is the Space homepage. It is the landing page of the space. Confluence will give you one by default, so please edit it. When someone goes to your space through the Spaces menu, they'll drop right on that page. So make sure it has good information that helps guide people to find things that they will find useful. You can change the homepage to be a different page, but just be careful. You will end up accidentally hiding content. So there you have it. That is the homepage in Confluence. It's an incredibly important feature because it's the first place people go and it's gonna have relevant information for them, assuming you've set it up. If you like this, please like and subscribe. That really helps me out. And drop a note down in the comments with how you use your homepage. How are you successful with it? What challenge do you have? And I want to thank you for spending time learning a little bit more about this system with me. And I really hope to see you here again soon.